All right. While some fans were able to make the trip to Providence, others took a break from work to catch the game in Durham. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith watched the game with Blue Devil fans in the Bull City. Duke is actually on spring break right now, so aren't too many students around, but still plenty of fans to find. And one thing about the tournament and close games, it brings all kinds of fans together. Go Duke! Duke fans spread out across Durham to see their Blue Devils take on the Seahawks. After a not so hot season, they came together, newcomers and lifelong followers, to see their team advance in the tournament. One couple's allegiance to the school runs far deeper than basketball. I've been a Duke fan for years. I worked at Duke for 40 years. My husband worked at Duke. We met at Duke. Terry and Terry Stroop have been cheering on their team side by side since Mr. Stroop set foot at Cameron Stadium. I was just so enthused with what was going on that I became a, a great you know, lifelong Duke fan. You got to be true blue whether they win or lose. In a different Blue Devils hotspot, a former Duke basketball player cheered on the team with a new generation of fans. It's almost an entirely different team. So you get to see like Grayson Allen, who was more of a role player and such an inspiration last year, and the freshmen come in and do such a great job. No matter the reason for being a fan. My dad works for the university, and we moved here from New York, and I decided to cheer for Duke. They move the ball, and they're really good at driving and drawing fouls. They're all happy to have that close game behind them. I'm excited because that was a really close game. We were like this close from losing, but Marshall Point had a lot of dunks and then our players just did really well. Sort of um, scary because Duke may have lost. At one point, I thought Duke was going to lose and I was really worried, but we won in the end. In Durham, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina. Well,